Come on to me, your party. Because yesterday you sacked your party leader. And now we have seen you here coming to the nomination. When are you going to replace your name? Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike. Sorry, we didn't sack him. We decided to join NPP. And he has right at the time. I don't understand. Okay. Did you suspend him? Expel him? Or he decided to join the president? He suspended him. He suspended him. Can you explain? Mr. Sow, many are saying that December is under the influence of foreign interference. Mr. So, and if, if, if so, tell us if you are voting in office, are you going to stop that and how are you going to stop that? Yes, uh, that's good because uh, we, are, we are a sovereign state. We have right to be free without foreign interference, and that is not part of the UN Charter. It is actually in the Gambia, and people are totally blind eyes to it. So, if God is in office, inshallah, 5th May, 5th December, inshallah, we will make sure that God will become a sovereign state. What mechanism are you going to put in place in order to stop that? What mechanism are you going to put in place? Because this is something I know, both practically and theory, I did foreign policy. And in the international system, no country, you should be always looking for the interest of your country and whatever you are going to have relationship with any foreign country is should be a zero sum game. And that one for so that will be for the interest of the Italian people. Um, next so you have a military or security background. Uh, there have been much talk about the need for security reforms, etc etc. Being a former major in the army uh, how is your perception of this security reform? How do you want to go about it? Yes, thank you very much. This security reform uh, it can be implemented in a short term based on the reality. If you have, if you know what it takes, you can reform your security easily, but not like you take point advises, ideas, you rely on the past that what happened to other countries, then you got it wrong and it will never be implemented. But for that, we have the idea and we will implement it as soon as possible. We are in office. You related to some members that uh, there is no need for what you call foreign votes on the ground. When your government, if you get elected, what are you going to do about the presence of foreign troops in the ground? Immediately, we are announced as we winners. We will just respect the protocol of ECOWAS and give the same two hours to leave our country. Every Gambian is important. And in humanity, however you are talking of doing, whatever you are doing, but you have to be union. And we make sure that. Every Gambian will be treated as a Gambian. This is the country we have, and we have to respect its order. Yes. Is GAP open to form a coalition or an alliance with any other party? After and now, or oh, if we are not in of it, we are going so. And I know Gambian, you know by looking at my anxiety, we are, they are all young people. We know our problem. And we can handle it and make sure we can from the country on a happy development. We're not seeing any women amongst your executive here. What is your stance towards gender equality and fighting for women in the new government if you come into office? What will you do? Yes, well, for that we are not gender biased because every government is important. And you buy it every time here. You cannot, the, the men cannot do it alone. We have to include the women also so that we can develop. Because they have the sympathized heart to make sure that 
we move our country because they are the most vulnerable people. So I will use them at the forefront to make sure that Zambia have their dignified life. Join the President Barros camp, you will travel the final executive of that. Is this how we are doing in your party, the previous actions that we have been doing? No, this was just a surprise to us. So, that's all. You feel like of taking that asset. Is there any interim leader as of now, as far as Badili is suspended? Is there? We are we will discuss it at executive level and we will make sure that we inform the press. On your manifesto, when yes. will you share it with the Gambian people and sell your program? Elections is around the world. Yes, that one, our manifesto is our ideas because we feel like for 56 years, Gambians are writing books and they cannot implement them because it's not their ideas. You can implement the ideas you have. You decide, and you become the architect of your own company. So we have, uh, like we just have the health sector, we have some plan and lockdown. Both for health, agriculture, education, and also we will do it. And it is part of our manifesto. Thank you very much.